So that means obviously not going like I can't hear me either. Oh the professionalism. That's what you're here for, isn't it? <laughs> or not. give up on that. Okay, so um, I was about to install Accessibility Insights on this machine because um, it's not installed and I want it there um, and I came here to download and now I thought, oh, what about Winget? Why don't I just install a Winget? That's much better than going to websites and downloading things. Um, so I went to Winget, search for ACK, for Accessibility. I thought that would find it and it didn't. Um, so I thought, oh, I could make a manifest for Winget. That might be fun. I'll learn how to do that. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, so what you have missed before I started uh, recording or streaming was that um, I've cloned the packages repository. And uh, yeah, and I had a look just to double check that there wasn't one in there. Um, and the Microsoft org, but you know, anyone can submit, can't they? So that'd be good. Um, um, and I understand anybody, so that's okay. So, how to submit a package this is what I wanted. Auto manifestation manifest, submit the PR. Sounds simple. Um, the minimal manifest syntax is below. Good. Um, uh, information on writing manifests. Well, there are instructions below, so I thought that was all I'd create your package. Use YAML, follow conventions, required bits, monster schema. Um, so I looked down the how you author it, and it had this script, and I was just going to use that. So we'll start with that and see how far I get, I guess. Um, so the first thing I want to do, I think, is um, create that file where I want to put it. Um, so I'm assuming that I want to call this Accessibility Insights Windows. Seems a good name then any. Oh. oh. Oh, I don't want to open it in code, the empty folder, do I? I want to open it in PowerShell. PowerShell. Much too big. Make it sensible. Oh, I had a PowerShell window open anyway, didn't I? Um, well, that's not what I wanted. That was the folder. These are the instructions. So there's a file in. The tools that it said, didn't it? Create YAML.ps on PowerScript located in the tools folder. Apology for the URL and the metadata. Good. Oh, that's not what you wanted to see, is it? Um, so what I want to get is to the tools directory. Where's the tools directory? Uh, I'm guessing. Oh, that's a good guess. Um, what's it called? Generate or create? Yam or create. This one. Enter the URL to the installer. That's good. Let's go there. Uh, copy the link. That's PowerShell. Ah. Oh, this is a redirect. I wonder if it's going to like that. 
we might learn. Um, Insights windows. Double check the spelling, but all looks good. Enter the publisher. It's Microsoft, enter the application name. I'm assuming it can have spaces. The name has a space, the name should be our spaces. So I shall I include four windows? Accessibility insights for windows. It's kind of what the thing's called, isn't it? Four windows. Maybe I should have used four in the other bit. We'll see. Enter the version number. Oh, I don't know the version number. Uh, I'm going to have to install it to find out the version number. What I will subtly do is flick over to the machine. If I can get it to log in. Open Accessibility Insights, which is the latest one. Which I used to have pinned on the other machine, now I don't for some reason. Um, sorry, you can't see this. Uh, settings. About, I was hoping for. There isn't a help. About, about, about tab. Um, and the version number is 1.1.1248.1. Aha. License. Um, there's a GitHub link for accessibility insight somewhere. Which I'm assuming you will tell me. It'll just be here. The link slides. On the GitHub. Um, oh, that's the web one. Just going to insights windows. View license. Go on, say something useful. MIT license, that's what I wanted. Uh, yeah, installer type. I don't know. Um, <laughs> maybe I should have just installed it and then I would know what's that. It's something completely different. Um, Gonna have to download it now and we'll find out. Download for Windows. That's an MSI. Brilliant. Enter the architecture. Um, show in folder. You tell me. Don't know how do I tell? I suppose if I built this, I would know. I'm kind of supposed to know these things, don't we? Um, the only first transport on a Windows and mainstream support. It wasn't a separate installer for a different architecture, was it? So I'm gonna. Um, I'm going to claim it's neutral and hope the testing or validation will find out if it's not. Optional entrance to license URL. Oh, I had that a minute ago. Where did it go? Uh, Windows license. For as long as that's still valid. Into the app moniker. I don't know what that should be. A friendly name? 
isn't it? Accessibility Insight Windows is kind of easy, yeah. Um, so I make one up. Should I call it App Insights to distinguish it from App Insights, which is Application Insights? Um, I'm going to skip. Enter any tags that would be useful for, to discover this tool. What I can do. I wonder if there's anything in the repo which I can. I'm used to seeing stuff. Well, I'm used to seeing stuff going marketplaces which has tags. Um, we're kind of creating that now, aren't we? Um, dum to dum to dum. Oh look, tags here. Accessibility windows. Okay, that's what I wanted. Um, Stuff in this. I'm sure I can change this in the YAML file. Oh, I'm not doing that. Um, I'm going to guess that will do. Any other tags that we use for to discover this tool? That's what I just did. Ooh. Onto the URL to the home page of the application. To a description. One copy's not working. Uh, yeah, I've got created. I created it where I wanted it, did it? Did it do it? Where is that? Uh, over. Yes, it did. Hooray. Um, I can make my code. Brackets created. The... I don't feel confident putting that URL there when I have to specify a version. I wonder if I should get the actual thing redirected to. I do that with the bar. Because I'm lazy. Uh, it's not capturing. Get that. Oh, 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 it's giving me a 500. I'm assuming because it doesn't like me um, coming from oh, five to two. Because GitHub doesn't like Fiddler getting stuff, which is I'm assuming is the problem there. Uh, Connection failed. Oh, let's look at the redirect. Where did the redirect go? Permanent move, which is what I was expecting. Yes, that's what I wanted. Yeah, if I go through that whole PowerShell thing again, um, but use the correct installer just to get in the hash. Download the URL, this will take oh, horrible blue on blue. That's a terrible default. Who did that? Making stuff up now. Don't really care. So 
Skip all the optional bits. We have a one dot one file. Um, slip in that folder. Yeah, slip folder. Oh, our wrong one. So I want this put in here. Should the version just be 1.1? 1 .1? I don't know. Let's go to the release page. Um, Let's go. I'll reduce what they use. The recent June release. What did I call it? Two four eight dot one. That's that's a zero one. That's not. Hmm. Not sure what I think about zero one. Um. That appears to be everything. So that's the basis, that's what we could uh, delete the one dot one because don't need that. Um, now let's come back to the instructions. Ha <laughs> Right, save it, let's validate it. Uh, not really. So it's widget validate. Um, you tell me. Manifest validation succeeded. Hurrah! Um, what was the next thing it said to do? Test it. Install minus m and then the manifest. Using Microsoft on. Uh, still can't read blue on blue. Microsoft is not responsible for nor is it granted any licenses to third party packages. You guys who verified installer hash installing. Ooh. I thought this was supposed to be anonymous. Not anonymous. Um, is it anonymous? Uh, unattended. That's the word I'm looking for. Oh. I got a prompt about. I think it's just a USC prompt. Is that okay? I don't know. It's not totally unattended. If you prefer to use a GUI to burn it, yeah. Oh, there's an app. An app from the store? That just seems fundamentally wrong on so many levels. So, Winget search. What's the thing called? Windows Package Manager YAML Generator. I am going to seriously question this. Might give something else to do if this if it's not there. Oh, that search is slow. No apps. Let's try again. Windows Package. What is there? What's it? Oh, um, yeah, what's all this? Oh, it didn't let me set. Oh, that's. Oh, so it didn't like me. Um, it still doesn't like that. I don't think it likes all the extra parameters. Can I just, do I need to put it in brackets or something? Probably.
I suppose the other thing I could do would be look in the uh, repository. The recent one for the. I know it's a bit circular, but it kind of really feels like this should be. In the store. Oh, Peter Tor will do it. It's not on Microsoft. Then. Maybe we'll tweet him afterwards. Um, This is him, don't know his name. Oh well, ignore all that. Um, back to where we are. Um, we've authored it, tested it, seems to work. Where the mouse is much dispersion and look at the browser, me and the publisher, me with the application, version one by license, install the type, install a hurrah. There were docs, not that one, docs about um, optional things, an example. Uh, It's just a list of the schema. Uh, Flying, license, Python share, MinOS version. I don't know any of these things. Same for tags, swipes. Um, possibly other things for the future. Let's leave it all as possibly other things for the future. Um, yeah, so where do we need to go to? Uh, submit your PR. Oh, I've got it off in another window. Let's look at um, how everyone else has done this. So we to put this. I want to see closed. What? Oh. Yeah. Oh, maybe. <sighs> oh, maybe I should have looked here. Um, closed one. There are other examples for the things. There it is. Okay. Oh, it's almost all a whole waste of effort. Um, that's in the process. Oh, hang on, let's just look at one of them. Close. Um, so it's just add and then the thing and the version number name. So the PR. Close and this is obviously an acceptable way of doing it. Um, I'm just going to make the commit message accessibility, add accessibility insights. For Windows. Double check the spelling and that looks good. I'm going to publish that. Um, 
little lab in my head, was that? Oh. Just create it. How can I be 11 behind? One commit ahead and one commit behind. And uh, let's look at some of these other PRs. Just add an inversion number. Didn't have anything. Okay, so we'll name the PR and it's one dot one dot two something, wasn't it? Uh, to double check the code of conduct, they should be just a standard Microsoft one, which I've read many times before and I'm happy with. Um, and no to be good about. Woohoo! That looks promising. That was much easier than I was expecting. How did I get away with that? Uh, some validation stuff, right? I wonder how long this is going to take. Let's find someone else. Let's find out how long adding the Tron 4.3 took. Can I work this out? Um, oh. Um, oh well. There it is. Check this out. Let's look at it. Progress. Uh huh. I wonder how long this will take. We'll see. Um. None of these look like the Peter Tor I know. Okay. Maybe I'll send him an email. Um, validation's running. Can we see more? Oh, we can see more. Still nicer, thanks. Oh, oh, hooray! This is fun. Um, so what? What did it? What did it say? This task is better. I don't care. Um, come back. I. So I had to specify things twice, but I didn't like that. So I think it's saying that that and that need to be the same. But so do I need to put the four in, or is that a spaces issue? Um, why won't you tell me? Oh, 
Have I got a typo? Yes, I've got a typo. Oh, there we go. Typo was where? Right. Oh, is it in the folder? Yes, it's in the folder name. Check everything here so carefully. Oh, what a numpty. Uh, mine is open. Oh, of course it is. It's just kill code thing. Try again, something's still open. What's still open? Oh, PowerShell. Still doesn't let me rename it. What's wrong? Oh, I've got another PowerShell window. Not that one, is it? It's not Fiddler. It's just tidy up. Um, not Teams, it's not that. Um, oh. I don't know what could be open now. Oh, whatever it was, it's gone. Back to just going to make it commit, which fixes the typo. Aren't we glad that I didn't um, just leave it on the first second? Start it again. Okay. Details. View more details. Even more details. Keep. Um, what else can I be doing while we wait for this? Who knows? Um, Still thinking, how oh, is this started? Setting up a VM on a zero ISO. Uh, or even on a zero, I assume. Okay, that'll teach me. Um, is there any feedback on this? Why don't we get it and have a look at it? Can I drag it over? There we go. Uh, install. Oh, does it just not exist because Wingate can't do apps in the store yet? Uh, but we know this had. Where was it? Um, where did the thing mention it? It said it was also on GitHub. Oh, 
Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, that's not right. Totally all the wrong places. Um, that's not it's here. Too many times. Gesture manifest, validation, validation. Where is it? It's not right here, is it? Oh, yeah, here we go. Um, Winget Yammer guys, see if you can refiltrate Yammer files for Winget. Um, oh, so anyway, rather than read the thing, I was looking for releases to see if there's a package there. No. Okay. And what was it used to do? I was looking at this. Oh, got further. Validating the manifest for it. Skipped. Did that run or was it skipped? Uh, don't know what to make of that. Um, tension of the rights. Oh, 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 Static analysis. Who knows that? Not how long that'll take. No. Oh. Did it finish? No. Just the page updated. Oh. Okay. The page updated. Thank you. Back to this. What happened in the pull request validation? Oh, is that the bit that's already done? Oh, cool. So the bit, bond bit was done. Just the one that's in progress moved around. Um, oh, I guess so. This is a like a overall thing for the other two steps. Yeah, so overall pipeline and then it's got two jobs. Uh, jobs. And analysis is still statically going, has been done for three minutes. Oh yes, I can even see. I looked at the clock to work out based on the start time, but it tells me how long it's been going. Um, so if it fails now, it's not my fault. It's the problem with their installer. All I'm doing is trying to make it easier for, well, me um, and other people to install this in the future. Ooh. Oh, scroll as it move around, buddy. Oh, auto scrolling is a pain. Still at validation yet? Oh. <sighs> Did 
don't give any details. So I don't know if the static analysis in progress completed, succeeded. That was a good. Oh, and that passed as well. Something's happening over here. Azure pipeline being passed. Submission moved to manual review. Hurrah! So someone needs to manually check that it's a good thing. Well, okay. I'm guessing that's why there's. Well, it's just gone down to. So either they've closed. Oh, can we see when things were closed? It was closed eight hours ago, eight hours ago, 39 minutes ago. How do we sort? Uh, recently updated. One minute ago, someone approved it. Color picking got it. Oh, what? Okay. And uh, copy it will be four months ago. Okay, that's why that went down. That's cool. Hopefully, someone will get to. Oh, look, it's got a reviewer assigned as well. Fun progress. Kevin. Kevin Heller. MF. The name sort of rings well. Oh, it's Kevin Larkin. I recognise that name, yes. Well, I don't know if you recognise my name, but there we go. Um, I now I wonder. Um, we find the wing at CLI. This is. This is uh, validation or even validation. How do I have packages? I can't find instructions in the other repo. Okay. Uh, validation should check both names. Should also I acknowledge the following before proceeding. If I delete this entire time, I'm going to do a close my issue with that. If I list multiple bugs in one issue, it's going to make it. If I write an issue that's in duplicates, if I leave the title incomplete, if I find something completely blank, and then I say, uh, I'm reporting this, do not want to sign this notification out of the page. Like, it's going to be issue as much detail as possible. Cool. So if the YAML file is in a Oh, that does not net or destruction. And um, application name. CLI validation test will pass. Oh, oh I closed the 
Let's see if I can find the command I used. This is going to really test my. Um, Um, yeah, that, so that command. But when submitting to the Naming isn't the same. So this can do to um, an X packet failures in the PR, which could have been fought. Okay, then Validation um, expected behavior should validate that Manifest 
repository. Just a warning. If I'm on here, come on. And remember what happens. Um, when uh, is validated. Uh, oh, then how do I get PowerShell? Some things. Uh, we get just give me a version on it. Oh, there we go. Oh, minus minus is required. That's fine. Is that it? Uh, Validation is just check folder name, Steamer files, and a folder structure. Doesn't much publish your application and CI version of Let's put that in brackets just for good measure. Wasn't right at the top, it was about half a mile down. Uh, we'll pass, but when something's impossible, it will fail. The name is the same discrete exit affairs we could be caught locally. Slash yeah. Okay. Okay, my file is to uh, put it in the folder publish slash ape and oh, uh, 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 name. Don't lose any one P. I have had a command on the file. Chris, through to the limit size, not matching fit values based on the current stream of file. So, make an ingestion in the message of this be a warning, not from a bringer. So, we that are bracketed down as well, just to. Uh, indicate it's a heat. Oh, not that. Thank you. Just, just be warning that from very extra behavior, violation pass is fine, and type is errors. Uh, environment. It's good. Submit that. It's too attentionate. Uh, it was optimistic. I think to hope it would have um, been reviewed in time. Review of Let's just double check. Is there anything else we need to do here? It's, no, it's just a manual review. Okay, well, hopefully that will go through very soon. That would be lovely. Um, hopefully that was useful or interesting. Um, oh, I certainly learned lots. Um, I learned it's really easy. I need to find a way to put that always on top. Um, I, I found that that was easier than I expected. I liked all the um, pipeline integration stuff. That was useful to see and know. Um, hopefully, the next time I need to install App Insights, it'll be really easy. Not App Insights, but Accessibility Insights. It'll be really easy. Brilliant. Uh, stay safe out there. Bye-bye.